y'all. Um, today, I'm going to make with y'all in my kitchen um, jambalaya. I haven't done a like Louisiana dish in a while, I know, and I make them all the time. Um, some of them are just repeats, and I think they don't want to see that. But then y'all come on there, and y'all message me and say, we want to see you make so-and-so. So here I am. We're going to have jambalaya. Um, I was just going to show you all the ingredients we're going to need, and I'm going to get them prepared, and then I'm going to move everybody to the stove so y'all can see exactly in the pan. We need to see what we're doing on jambalaya, don't we? <laughs> um, why I get on here is just to say that you can do this. If a lot of you make it, and y'all add to it and say how you do it and give a little tips, and that's great and wonderful. Some of you don't. And that's why I ever started this, was that some of you said, oh, that's so hard. And I want you to see, it's not hard. It's so easy. And lots of you that I know locally here say, Amy, thank you so much. I'm making that now. And my husband loves it. My kids love it and everything. And not just locally. I'm getting that all over the place. So we're going to keep on showing you easy ways to make things that might seem scary, like jambalaya. Um, so what we're going to need is, uh, let's see, we're going to start with um, about a pound of chicken thighs. That's what I've got right here. I've got to chop them in bite-sized pieces. Same thing with my andouille sausage. I hope y'all can see it. I don't want to be touching my meat and then um, getting over here on my veggies. Although it is all going in the same pot together, isn't it? Um, then we're going to need salt for our seasoning. Salt, pepper, dried thyme, because I don't have any planted yet, cayenne pepper, and regular pepper, black pepper or my pepper melange, whatever you want to do. Then we're going to need some chicken stock, about four or five cups, and y'all don't worry about this because y'all know I'm going to put the recipe above me and the title, right under the title on Facebook and below me if you touch that little down arrow be in the description box, the whole recipe will, so no worries. We're going to need a little can of tomato paste, and we're going to need some diced tomatoes. We're going to need a finely diced onion. This is a yellow onion. You use whatever onion you want to, and it's a large onion. We're going to dice a bell pepper, green bell pepper. I've got about three stalks of celery that I'm going to chop, and I've got four, you need about six cloves of garlic, and um, I've got some fresh cloves I've got to smash and chop. I've got one, two, three, four, five right there, so I might have to get some of that pre-chopped, but a couple of them are real big. Get you two or three bay leaves. I've got friends, Pamela and Georgie, John and I do, that live down close to New Orleans, and they have a bay tree, so they give us fresh ones, and I love it, and we're going to need about two cups of rice, and I've got basmati. You can use... Um, any kind of rice you want to, you can use a long grain, whatever you have, don't sweat it. And if you can't get andouille sausage, please don't say, well, I can't make jambalaya. Sometimes I put deer sausage, smoked link deer sausage. I've put, or venison, I guess I should say. I've put um, just a down-home link smoked sausage I bought in the grocery store. So any kind of sausage, andouille is what I have, and of course that's what I'm putting. Um, just not a breakfast sausage or something, but I think y'all know what I'm talking about. I really do. So I'm going to get all of this prepared. I've got some green onions that I'm going to chop to garnish with before we eat. And so I'm going to get everything ready, and I'm going to get y'all over here in the stove, and we're going to have some joyful cooking today. Um, I'm smiling. God gave me this breath that I'm using, so I'm going to praise Him today. And give God the glory. It's beautiful out here today. It's sunny and warm. I've said that to some of y'all. It's already spring here in Louisiana. It's already warm. And some of you are like, oh, Amy, we're going to freeze tonight. It's going down in the 20s tonight. And I'm like, oh, no. So I'm sending you warm thoughts. Um, just if it makes you feel any better, here in Louisiana, when it gets beautiful, warm weather for y'all, in the summertime, it'll be like, Oh, 100 degrees here, and the humidity level will take it to 100, 500, 7, and we'll just think we're dying. We'll think we died with the wrong way, won't we? <laughs> so if it makes you feel any better right now, we're warm, but we're going to get really hot around here in Louisiana. So um, anyway, I'm going to get y'all over to the stove after I get prepped, and we'll cook this up. 
Hey y'all, I moved y'all over here by my stove and I've got all my stuff chopped and ready. So it is time for us to get started. I'm turning my fire down. I see my pot's nice and hot. I'm going to get y'all down here, okay guys? Let's see here. Turn y'all down. There we go. Make sure y'all can see my pot really, really well. There we go. I got some greens going over here too on the stove. Some uh, mustard greens is what I'm cooking today. Okay, y'all, you see how I chopped my um, undoing? I did it by, on the bias, so it's a real pretty little slice. I'm gonna put that in there. And I am going to saute this. Got to get me a wooden spoon for my enamel cast iron. I'm going to just saute this around, get it browned up, and then I'm going to take this up, put it back in my bowl, and I'm going to put in our chopped chicken thigh. So good, it's caramelized. Y'all see that? Y'all see that beautiful flavor here? Mmm, I wish y'all could smell this sausage cooking. <laughs> it's good enough, right there. So pretty. I'm taking this up, setting it to the side, and we'll move on with our chicken. Alright, I got one little stubborn piece of sausage wants to stay in, in the pot, doesn't it? Okay, guys. I just do me another little round of olive oil just so my chicken will have something to work with. And I chop my chicken thighs into bite-sized pieces. I'll get them sprayed around in here good. And... Once I get them spread around good. Alright. I'm going to wash this bowl out though. Y'all know I'm not going to put my chicken back into that bowl. I'm going to salt it. And pepper. There we go. I'm going to let this cook until it's done. Just a few minutes and I'll be back. Our chicken has gotten a beautiful brown color in it. Y'all see it? Or on it. Not in it. On it. <laughs> and I'm taking it up. Oh, we got all kinds of pretty brown stuff in the bottom of this pot. I'm so glad this is a one-pot meal because we want all of that to come with us. That's flavor, isn't it? Um, okay, now... If, you, if your sausage and your chicken renders a whole lot of fat in here, you can use that to saute your veggies. Mine did not, okay? Didn't do much at all. That andouille was pretty lean. And my thighs were pretty um, lean. They didn't have a ton of fat on them, so that was a good thing. But if they do, you can use that, okay? I just put another little circle of um, olive oil, maybe a teaspoon, I guess. So I'm going to put my chopped white onion or yellow onion, and this is going to be about two cups, okay? I'm going to give you measurements as I go, too. So, two cups of white onion. We're just going to saute them in this olive oil until they're a little translucent. That's all we're looking for. I'll stir them just for a moment. Just a moment like that. I tell you, it would not hurt to have just another little dash of olive oil, I tell you. That was some lean thighs, very lean thighs. It's unusual. You can use chicken breast with this um, if you don't want to use thighs, but your thighs, y'all know, has much more flavor and a little more fat. That's why they have more flavor. And so I like the thighs in a jambalaya. Most of us do. Okay? Then we're going to have somewhere around a cup or one bell pepper chopped. Nobody will be left behind. Y'all all come on. We're going to have one cup of chopped celery. Three quarters to one cup. So. And I'm going to saute this around for just a minute, guys. Ooh, now it's really smelling good up in here. Yes, it is. John is working all day today. It's a sunny day. He didn't get rained out today. So he won't be home till dark. So after I get through with all this, I've got to run several errands. He called me this morning. He said, he always calls me in the morning. I'll be drinking my coffee 
and reading my Bible and thinking I got my day mapped out. And he'll call and be like, hey, baby, I need you to run here and I need you to run there. And can you go do blah, blah? And of course, I say yes, yes, because I am the A and A and J, huh? So I got several errands I got to go run before I get to my workout. But I'm determined I'm going to make my workout, Dad Gummit. <laughs> Dad Gummit, yes, I am. Okay, guys, my onions are about to start turning translucent. I'm going to get y'all back down here. I'm going to tell y'all what I'm doing. Next, I'm going to add my um, garlic, okay? I'll do that when I get y'all down here. But then I'm going to add a 6-ounce can of tomato paste. And it's also 170 grams, okay? Yeah. I'm going to add that in here, and I'm going to stir that and cook that around for about five minutes. Because what it does is it develops flavor in this tomato paste. It makes it cook. And it develops a real depth of flavor that you don't get if you just dump that in there and then dump some chicken broth in on it. So we're going to kind of, it almost caramelizes it. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. Okay, guys, I'm going to get y'all back down here on the stove. I know y'all need to see that cooking action. Where are we? Where are we? There we are. Get y'all both straight. Now then, now then, uh-oh, my phone's starting to dip over into my camera, huh? I know, it's done that on a couple of videos, and after I was looking at it, I'm like, ugh, oh, ugh, oh, I just want to melt. Okay, guys, they're looking translucent, my onions, so I'm going to get my garlic over in here. There we go. Stir that around just some seconds. It doesn't matter. You've got other things in here, so you're not going to burn your garlic. So don't be scared of that. Don't be afraid. No worries. This is a no worry jambalaya. Just sweating out these veggies is starting to deglaze the bottom of the pan, isn't it? But we'll get to that when we put that chicken broth in there to really deglaze for us. Okay, guys. Here goes our tomato paste. We're going to start developing that rich, rich, rich flavor. Sometimes I do this with my spaghetti, too. My Aunt Virginia taught me that. Now, I already knew about that on jambalaya, but I didn't think about doing it for spaghetti. But she's taught me to pre-cook my tomato paste, too. And I'll do that sometimes if I'm not in a, in a bad hurry. I'll have to do that with y'all. I've made spaghetti, but I didn't pre-cook it. My tomato paste. Spaghetti sauce, that is. Yeah, and this is just going to get that tomato paste cooked and give it a really deep, deep flavor that we will love. Yes, and this is a quick and easy, while this is cooking, I'll keep stirring. I'll raise it up because I know I like to see y'all too. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, but anyway, um, what was I going to tell y'all? Oh, there are a few little shortcuts if you want to get a little shorter than this. And I have made this in the crock pot before too, guys. But I used um, a Zataran's rice mix, like a jambalaya mix. Um, so I'm going to have to play with it and see how I can do it with rice or maybe some instant rice or something. I don't know. Because I have done it in the crock pot when I needed it to sit all day. Y'all know who I am. I don't know when we're going to eat with John Murray around, but some shortcuts, I'm trying to stir and tell y'all, is this seasoning blend that's got the red bell pepper and the green bell pepper and the parsley and the onion and the celery, and it's in your frozen section near all your frozen veggies in the grocery store. You could use that. Um, of course, you don't know exactly how much it is, you know, of each thing, but it, hey, y'all know I use this in a pinch and it, it'll turn out good too. Um, so that's not a problem right there. Alright. And another thing is some of this pre-chopped garlic. Y'all know I use this a lot. And of course that wouldn't hurt at all. You wouldn't have had to chop any garlic. Because that's the only thing not in that seasoning blend. That seasoning blend's got a little bit of parsley. But that's not going to hurt a thing up in here in your jambalaya. No, sir, it is not. Um, I've made really long cooking jambalayas where I had to pre-fry the chicken. <laughs> and it'd be whole chicken pieces on the bone. Um, 
Um, also made it where you put beer in it with your chicken broth, and that's very, very good, very nice flavor. The thing about cooking with alcohol like that is um, they've done all that all, that slow cooking and, and extracting of such great flavors and putting them in there and brewing it down, and you can benefit from that if you put it in there. It cooks all the alcohol out, but it leaves all of that hard work they put into it. So. Um, I've done that. It's very, very flavorful. I like that. But this one is not. It's just going to have chicken broth. And it's going to be really good, too. Yes, it is. Okay, guys. I'm going to go just a couple more minutes stirring on this. Um, no, I'm not. I think we've been going long enough because I'm looking at the color of it. it got a deep, gold, deep golden red. That doesn't make any sense. Just a deep red, huh? Yeah. Y'all see it? Yes, yes. Okay, guys, y'all see what a nice, rich color that tomato paste turned into. I'm trying to make sure y'all both can see everything. Goodness gracious. Every time I touch the camera, I get it off. Off base. Okay. Now, one thing y'all see I did not do, I did not salt and pepper the veggies. And so, we're going to salt and pepper each layer just so we won't have not enough salt in here, you know? That'll make your whole pot of jambalaya just not be alive, not taste good. Okay, to this now, we're going to add one cup of our chicken stock or chicken broth. Don't, don't worry if all you have is chicken broth, no problem at all. I like stock because it's just got a little more flavor, but like I say, don't, don't sweat it if you don't have it, okay? Do not do that. And all I'm doing is stirring to get it all incorporated in there really well. So it won't be lumpy on us. No lumpiness. Okay, now we're going to add our 15-ounce um, can of diced tomatoes with the juice. Yes, we want that red rice, don't we? We sure do. I'm going to add in here my three bay leaves and one half teaspoon of dried thyme. Can y'all both see that? One half teaspoon of dried thyme. Can't wait to get me some thyme planted outside this year. I'm trying to be careful so I don't spill it all over in there. And then one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You can go hotter if you want to. Sometimes I'll put a teaspoon, but this andouille sausage I got is very warm, hot. So I'm going to stay with about a half teaspoon of cayenne. I always get popular when I get on here with y'all. Yes, I do. People are calling me. I'll call them right back. I'll get this step going with y'all. I'm going to let this cook, guys, for about 10 minutes, okay? On low. And then I'll come back here and we'll throw it all together. Okay, about 10 minutes. I just let everything kind of cook and get to know one another. Now we're going to put our chicken and our sausage back in here in the pot. Any juices that might have come out, yes, they need to go right back in there. They sure do. We're going to put our two cups of rice. Just a long grain rice, all you need. And um, we put one cup of our chicken broth, and I said four and a half to five cups, so I've got four cups right here. So I'm going to put all but maybe another half cup. Oh, uh, let's just put it all. We'll put all five cups in here to begin with. I'm going to bring this to a boil, and as soon as it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it down on low, okay? And this is very important. Once it comes to a boil and I turn it down on low, I'm going to cover it. And I'm not going to peek. I'm not going to look. It needs to be tightly sealed because what cooks rice... Let me get y'all both back up here. What cooks rice is actually the steam that's in there, okay? So if you keep opening it and stirring it and looking and seeing if your rice is done, guess what? It's not going to cook, okay? So we've got to be real disciplined. <laughs> And we have to just leave the lid on, but be sure, bring it to a boil, then cover it and turn it down on low so it won't boil over, you know. 
and then let it go about 25 minutes and we'll come back. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave mine on really, really, really low and run go work out and I'll come back here and meet y'all and maybe John will meet us and we can let him bless the food. See y'all a little bit. Hey y'all, I dipped up some of that pretty jambalaya. Be sure and fish out your bay leaves, that's the only thing. Let me come show y'all up close. Doesn't it look good? Yes it does. And John's here, he's going to bless it for us. He actually came home. Well, it's just dark in the It's just getting dark. It's just yeah. dark. Yeah. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this meal for this time, Lord. I just ask you, please, just keep your hand upon us, Lord. Keep the devil from us. Lord, please be with the people of our prayer. Be with our nation. We love you so much, Lord, and thank you for the day. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. You want a taste? Oh, I love to. Yes. Would you like a taste? Yes. You're going to get your body made. You keep reaching for a spoon. <laughs> right. There's too much that I want to eat there. My spoon too much right here. We'll split this little piece of chicken. Oh, How about that? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. Some chicken, some sausage, a mm. little green onion. Y'all saw I sprinkled some green mm. onion on top. Mm. Mm. What do you think, buddy? That's great, baby. Mm. Is it great? I love that. I've got us some greens going. On the stove back there. And some cornbread. Cornbread. Ooh, it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess we'll tell everybody bye bye, huh? <laughs> See y'all later. Bye bye.